My name is Brian Watkins and this is the video tutorial for Pivot Table B1. In B1 we're going to learn how to use the page or report filter which means that we can take one uh, key number out of the entire data set and show associated data with it. So let's do that. In this case uh, let's we're working with a new data table which is a red tab, order reports and if we look through this we're going to find that these items of uh, food pop up more than once but they pop up with different sales and different discounts and they probably have different prices so that would explain why we want to see for example on an order ID exactly what was purchased and what prices were charged for that order so understanding what our data is, we can now begin to do our report. So we do an insert, pivot table, okay. Uh, we're back looking at the classic design uh, again, so don't be confused. We're going to start by making order ID without clicking on the box. If we click on the box, it just throws it down in the sum. We don't want it in the sum. So we can either click the box and then move it up to report filter, or we could just click even before we click in the box and drag it down and drop it in report filter. That sits up at the top of the report and it allows us to select any one of these order numbers. So let's leave that and what we want to see is the name of the product ordered. Okay, We want to see the unit price for that product. Not a sum let's move it back over to the row we want to see the actual price and you can see here what I was discussing there are different prices apparently for these items you can see two prices here when we have all order IDs involved uh, presumably we can't charge two prices for the for the uh, same product to one customer so if we select say one order number 10 to 50 we quickly see that there's only uh, one unit price. So let's go back and we're going to need the quantity. Pull that down. And the discount, if any. And then the extended price. Now what it has shown us is a bunch of subtotals. But we've remembered how to uh, get rid of the subtotals. We just click and then we just got rid of the product subtotal so now we go to the unit price column we right click and we get rid of click on subtotal whoops get rid of that click again erase the subtotal go to discount erase the subtotal the computer is just trying to be helpful um, but we don't want that so now we have the rows they give us the unit price, the quantity, discount, and extended price. Um, let's format our numbers and I will pause the recording while I format all the numbers because you remember how to do that. It's a click and then it's field settings. Okay, I formatted everything, but while I was formatting I realized that the extended price needs to come over here so that we can create a grand total of the extended prices for each order ID. So let's go here, um, format this as currency, number format, currency. Okay, and we've already formatted, well, it looks like discount accidentally got formatted as currency. We want discount to be just a straight percentage. We don't need decimal places and so our discount is right. Uh, for order 1050 it looks like we had these three products there was the unit price, there's the quantity and that looks right. So let's stretch it out a bit but I noticed something here one of the functionalities that it pops in are these little plus and minus buttons. They have a use, they can turn things off if it's a very large report. We don't need them in this report so we go up to the ribbon where the show and the plus minus buttons and they allow you to expand or collapse items within the pivot table. Let's take them out. They're distracting here. So we take them out. 
Now let's find ourselves a nice format by going to format as table. Um, actually, let's click within it. Okay. And let's start there. And look, we haven't used purple yet. We'll use a purple style. So there is our report. It's complete. And the good thing about using these filters is I can have this on my screen and I can look at any one of the numerous order IDs we have. Let's look at 10893. And it changes. There's no discount in that. Let's find one that has a discount. I don't see one yet. Okay, I still don't see any discount. But they're there, and that's the way that you would use a pivot table to find the information that you would need. Um, we can check our math. Unit price, $8. Quantity, 10 Total, 80 And it's adding up just, just nicely. So this is a good one. We'll save it. Okay, I got curious, and I wanted to find an order that had a discount to make sure that it was working. And so here in order 10252, uh, there is a discount, and the unit price is $2 for 25, that would be 50, and there's that 5% discount, 47.50. So we can see that the uh, pivot table software has done all the math for us and given us an excellent report.